There's never been a better time to sell or trade your used car or truck. Davenport Auto Park is ready to buy your pre-loved vehicle. The market is hot for used cars and we're paying top dollar. Drive into Davenport today and turn your car into cash. You'll get a cash offer on the spot. We'll even pay off your loan and give you a ride home. Or we'll help you pick out a new ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. For the ride of your life and the life of your ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. to Cuisine with Jean and Therese Hunt. You're probably more recognizable than I am. No, no <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> it's our guest, but we are really happy to have her. And I told her, this is just like like friends playing in the kitchen. We are going to share a, an, a, wait until you see it. It is an incredible, incredible creation. Then, and what's the name of uh, Broccoli Ham Crescent Ring. Did you make it up? No, actually, it's uh, something that, and I hate to say this, but it's a pampered chef recipe that I used oh, to make good. all the time because everybody loves it. It's yeah. really easy, great for a snack, breakfast, lunch, dinner, anytime. Well, and when you showed me the finished product, I thought, well, you could have a cocktail party and that could be what people are making slices and putting mm-hmm. on. Uh, you'd have to have a little plate or a, yeah, right. a good napkin to support it, but... but Breakfast? Have you served it for breakfast? Uh, you can. It's got ham, cheese, vegetables. It's wonderful. Uh-huh. A crescent, you know, crescent roll. <laughs> what, uh-huh. what would you not like yeah. about it? So Yeah, crescent it's, rolls are kind of mm, a, an easy, easy thing for making all correct. sorts of things. And I always, you, I always had Swiss cheese and ham and broccoli usually in the house because uh-huh. we used to eat a lot of stir fry. So broccoli was always, and then, so it's, what, six, seven ingredients. It's real easy. Mm-hmm. Um, prep time's the longest Okay. Thing to do. <laughs> Let's right up front let people know on the 23rd of February. Yes, thank and you. And how many of you these heart? Okay, so we've got uh, the Women's Professional Networking Group that I'm the president of. Mm-hmm. Is uh, We're doing our 10th annual Go Red. Go Red. Um, for uh, women's heart health. Um, we fundraise for the hospital, for the uh, Heart Foundation, mm-hmm. and for American Heart Association. So Wonderful. we are back at it again. We did, during COVID, we did a few smaller intimate mm-hmm. things so that we could continue keeping that out there. But um, we'll be at the Dunn Center on the 23rd of February. We only have a very few tables left. Um, wow. Honestly, we probably, we won't even sell individual tickets. Um, we do have a max of like 176 total. Fire code type. Of well, thing. yeah, and just um, space so uh-huh. that people can still move around and we're not all sitting next to each other, yeah. you know, on each other's laps. But mm-hmm. we have maybe, I have to finalize some numbers today, so maybe three or four tables left. Um, table sponsorships or tables of eight. Mm-hmm. So we're excited. We've got a, a dance floor. We have the classics band. Um, Boyce Willis Clinic is our big presenting, big heart sponsor. And an everlasting monument is our um, our next level sponsor. So we're excited. Mm-hmm. We, we're going to have a great time. It's going to be a big party. It's a uh, it's glam night at the Garner. So we're going to have red carpet. <laughs> we're going to have a red carpet, photo booth, champagne wall. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, and men, you know, men are very much a part of this too, right? Yes. I mean, and don't, we, don't just think it's all women because it's Women's Professional Network. Because correct. with the dancing, I mean, women can dance with each other. But I've over the years, initially, it seemed like it was more women. It was. And as it grew... More men. Yeah, men are coming. Yep, we are. Uh-huh. We, have, we have, over the years, had more men come. But, you know, they're the support as well. Mm-hmm. So whether it's, you know, heart health, whether it's women, of course, we're a women's group. So we, we focus on that. But but men need to take care of the women they love. And so Correct. this information, mm-hmm. which is really crucial because heart conditions present themselves differently. Yes, they do. For women than they do for, for men. men. And, you know, and we tend to think, oh, well, I'm busy and, mm-hmm. you know, I'll take care of everybody yeah. else. That's correct. We leave ourselves last mm-hmm. usually, unfortunately. But good care and good ongoing care. And, of course, the UNC Cardiology at National is located at Boyce Willis, mm-hmm. the practice now. But we've got great, great practitioners here. That I mean, the UNC staffs our STEMI center. Uh, plus, we've got on staff people there, too. And the new name of the hospital is UNC Health NASH. Um, the UNC decided to brand all of their UNC partner hospitals, managed ho- um, hospitals, as well as owned ones, with the same logo. No old well anymore. Love that old well, uh-huh. but that's taken off of the health part. UNC Health Nash, and so we we are so fortunate. Yes, and you and are. I know, and he wouldn't yeah. mind me saying this. Gary Hodges will tell you in a heartbeat they saved his life. Yeah, 
Oh, absolutely. Among I've heard. many others. Yes. Okay, let's absolutely. get started. We are All cooking, right. folks. Oh, we are. Yes, we are. Um, so this recipe is really fairly easy. Um, the, be the hardest thing is prepping everything. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you just kind of what you need to do. Um, you start out with um, a quarter pound of broccoli that you chop up pretty thin. Yeah, fresh. Fresh broccoli. Fresh broccoli. Yep. Okay. I, I rinse it, dry it. I have a salad spinner. That's kind of what I use. Mm -hmm. um, get all the water out, and then I chop it up real finely. And I um, would think that getting the water out is important. Yes, because you don't, yeah, you don't want it a lot of water the, left. The crust Correct. Kind of gushy. Um, and, it's, and speaking of water, because you can get a lot of water from your ham. So again, a quarter pound of broccoli, so chop that up. Mm -hmm. A quarter pound of ham. Let's talk about ham preferences. There are I, lots of options. There are. I like to use like the, either if I have a ham that I've had mm -hmm. and I've had it in the freezer, I might just stick a chunk in the freezer. I'll take it out and thaw it and use that. Mm -hmm. um, or I buy a ham slice because mm -hmm. um, you only need a quarter pound. You can always, if you have luncheon meat ham, you can use that too. That's mm -hmm. always, you know, before, if you're trying to, before it gets old, before it gets old, right? If you're trying to use some things up, because mm -hmm. you don't, I mean, four ounces, four to five ounces is about what I use. The recipe is a quarter pound. That's and really beautifully that's like chopped. Fine, a fine dice. And I do, that's usually what I do with a, like a ham steak is I do real thin slices and then so dice it up. you do it, it all up. by hand. I do it all by hand. Okay. Now, this I do not. Um, broccoli, I don't do by hand, nor the onions, just because they can you know, bother you. Uh -huh. um, I have one of those hand choppers mm -hmm. that I love. Um, so that's what I use for this. It just and makes it so much do it easier. Near the stove with the fan, the exhaust Correct. fan on. Yep. Um, and then a six ounce block of Swiss cheese, freshly grated. Um, so then you just finally, I do a fine grate on the Swiss cheese. Mm -hmm. And then you want a half a cup of um, finely chopped parsley. And that's fresh. Mm -hmm. Fresh, fresh Not parsley. Dried. You can, it's, the recipe does say that you can use dry. I like to use mm -hmm. fresh. It does make a difference to me. And I it's think it's very it just, accessible yes. in grocery stores yes. too. And it just adds beautiful color when you, mm -hmm. you'll see it. And then um, a small, one small onion or uh, like a half of a large onion or mm -hmm. whatever. It depends on your taste for onion. Some people like onions, some people don't. So it just depends, you know, if your family. It's really good for you though. It, it is. Yeah. You know, like garlic and... But there's some but, people, and I've... Okay, I'm going to throw him under the bus. My husband, <laughs> when he eats even French onion soup, it comes out as pores. Oh. I mean, he can come in the back door, and I know he's had hun onions for lunch. And garlic is the same way, too. If yeah. You eat, if you overeat it, it comes out your pores. Well, and he you can doesn't just even like garlic, overeat it. Just, it's some people's metabolism... <laughs> just, does that. And I said, well, good. You're kind of getting it out of the way. <laughs> so, good. But, no, it is, it is healthy to eat onions. It is. And then the only other two ingredients is... Um, some lemon juice, about mm -hmm. a, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and then some Dijon mustard. You'll use two tablespoons of that. Um, so there's really, it's a very simple recipe. The hardest part is getting everything prepped. But once you get it all prepped, we'll... And why do you use fresh cheese? Let's talk about the advantages of fresh cheese versus already grated. Well, it doesn't have that caking, that caking... Um, product that they, preservatives that they don't, you know, that they use. So to me, fresh is always better. Um, it, I'm not saying that I don't use grated some, you know, the package sometimes just, it just depends on what I have or, you know, what I'm, what I'm doing that day. If I have enough time to grate it, I do have one of those, you know, like Olive Garden graters, uh -huh. you know, you stick the block in there and you just go, go, go. And it's a good workout for you. Oh, it's it yeah. is a good workout. Well, and I do think we're learning more and more that anything that's processed before you get it, there's another layer of ingredients and things put in it that Correct. really are not as healthy as if, you know, the, the former days of farm to table mm -hmm. and people who can buy at the farmer's market right. and fresh things, it's just healthier. I do miss our um, milk that we used to get as a kid. We used to go right to the farmer, um, go see the cows, say hi to the cows, grab the milk that's just churning in that big old, not and in big, not pasteurized, big old glass. Oh, it was delicious. It was the best. That's I think that's not why. very safe though. Not Back then, it was. It, it was. was. It was absolutely, we grew up on it. We grew up on garden vegetables. We grew up and on deer? deer meat. And yeah, <laughs> I think that's one mm -hmm. of the reasons I've um, had such great health over oh. the years. So good. Okay. Yeah. Let's All right. start. So now that we've had, we have everything prepped, we are just going to throw it. All we're going to do is just throw it in a big bowl. I like to use a big bowl because I can get a little messy <laughs> and it's just, you just need the space to mm -hmm. put it all together. So what I do first is just, I add the cheese, the broccoli. If you want to throw the ham in there. Okay. Throw that in there. Great. Let me scrape it out. Yep. Thank you. And the onion. Little squares. Oh, yes. Okay. 
And glass is definitely better to keep things in. And certainly if you're needing to warm anything up, glass is always better. Um, and I think if people want to store them in the refrigerator, but I've heard that a lot of the plastics that people get, you know, yeah. for containers, containers, if they heat them in those containers, you eat the plastic. Yeah, you're, you can. So let's just, um, right now, I always usually just try to get this, the onion, the ham, the broccoli, and the cheese. I kind of try to get that cheese all broken up. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of mix that real the, good. You don't have the preservatives, so it's... Right, it's, a bit, it'll get a little sticky. Uh -huh. uh, especially That's the finer you grate it, the more clumpy sticky it gets so once i'm kind of healthy and then, mixture yeah and it smells so good that, yeah mm, it smells so good and it i also too good. i'm always looking for you know make sure i've kind of chunked up all the broccoli mm -hmm. so we don't have huge stalks because you don't want to come across the big stalk all right if you want to throw that parsley okay. in here and then we'll mix that up you want to yeah, that's fine. wash my hands I, I kind of put a little extra in there so we're good so we'll mix that, that. Green. I love oh green. i know isn't it so pretty uh-huh I, I love it a beautiful spring recipe. I mean, like I said, you can eat it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. It's and you're delicious. Saying spring, but I think this is a good year round. It is good year round. Um, Have you ever made it and frozen it? No, I, I just I don't know how the um, the crescent, crescent rolls. rolls will hold up. They're much mm -hmm. better fresh, making it and right out of the oven. Of course, it's oh. still good when you warm it up later. Uh -huh. um, but when it's right out of the oven, piping hot, and it's the crust is crispy on the top. That's so good. And I'm thinking you could even do this the night before. You could. And then assemble it. You could. When you, you could. come in from work or something. Yep. You, and then all you have to do is deal with the crescent rolls, put it together, and we'll mm -hmm. do that here okay. in a little bit. So we're going to add the rest. We're going to add the lemon juice. Which helps preserve the color, too, yes. besides giving it a little tang. And I didn't measure this just because it's so hard to get out of a little container, but two tablespoons, and I love some Dijon mustard, so I'm just going to... And this recipe will be on the website, Cuisine with Jean, so right. we will have it in, in the right. <laughs> okay. And then you just mix all that up and now and mix it real well. Now, this is still going to be, it's not going to be, you know, it's going to be, how do I say it? Uh, loose. Loose, yes. Um, so don't think you have this, like, mixture that you want it loose. Spread on or anything. It's yep. more of a... It, it's just a, yep, and you'll, we'll show that in a little bit. And how did you chop your broccoli? Um, I have one of those hand choppers. Oh, so you so that I just too. I try to take as much of the stock out, and you can uh -huh. save that and use that great for throwing in vegetable soup or making stock with your chicken or snacks. Or snacks. Um, I do, you know. So I just use really try to use the florette part, mm -hmm. um, and then just use my hand chopper. You can chop it by hand. You just you don't want super super fine, but you don't mm -hmm. want big stalks in there as well. So I think this is a great. So it looks like oh, it's yeah. all nice and mixed. It smells wonderful. It does smell really, really good. I so, think the Dijon kind of gave it next. Yes. And the lemon. Okay, we're going to take a break and we're going to show you how to assemble it with the Crescent Rolls. Stay with us. There's never been a better time to sell or trade your used car or truck. Davenport Auto Park is ready to buy your pre-loved vehicle. The market is hot for used cars and we're paying top dollar. Drive into Davenport today and turn your car into cash. You'll get a cash offer on the spot. We'll even pay off your loan and give you a ride home. Or we'll help you pick out a new ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. For the ride of your life and the life of your ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Your cabinets draw the most attention in your kitchen. They have to last through the hard use of a happy home. Family dinners, game nights, late night snacks and parties. So when it's time to upgrade or to renovate that kitchen of yours, maybe even to build that dream kitchen in your new home, do you really want to settle for cabinets that could be subpar, do you? Where can you find quality cabinets along with customer service that you can depend on? The solution is simple. You buy your cabinets from a locally owned family business, Magasin Cabinets. Magasin Cabinets sells cabinets that combine solid traditional quality construction with the hand-finished look that is simply stunning when on display. Customer service uh, was great. I had a warm feeling about the whole situation. So, you know, at the end of the day, I felt like, I felt great about coming here and giving him my business. The owners, Dennis and Lorna, pride themselves on their work and ensuring your satisfaction. When it's time to upgrade, choose Magasin. They have a quality you can trust from locals you can depend on. This is Therese Hunt, and she is making this a recipe from Pampered Chef. Correct. Right? <laughs> and this is any time of day. I mean, you can give it a healthy breakfast for your kids, a great lunch, dinner, 
um, appetizers, whatever you're thinking yeah. of. Party. And party. Party. Yep, mm-hmm. absolutely. I mean, and, and boy, if you, you know, every now and then, I'll, I'll, somebody will say, well, just bring an hors d'oeuvre. Wow, could you really impress people with not a lot of work? Yeah, and I was thinking about it this morning, too, because you could do this individually. We're going to get started on these because uh-huh. it'll it'll take a few minutes. Um, so you use two two packages of crescent rolls, so you just do the fun part and, and beat them up. Beat them, yeah, like that or... There we yeah. go. <laughs> Darn, that was too easy. Uh, yeah, we it really was. Have to struggle. <laughs> <laughs> so a little tip that I've um, come across is you have to leave a center open. Mm-hmm. So, and this can be a little tricky. Of course, crescent rolls can be a little tricky. Is this tricky. a pizza roll? This is a pizza stone. stone. Again, okay. it's Pampered Chef. It's one of their signature pieces, and I love it. Um, but somebody could use another pizza you could, something. You could right. use a pizza stone. You could use a flat cookie sheet as well. Okay. Um, if you're going to use a cookie sheet, I would use parchment paper underneath it. Okay. And that just makes it so much easier. It sticks. So what you have to do is kind of make a big sunburst with your, um, with your crescent rolls. And so you just... Lay them on top of one another, and we're going to do this fairly quickly because this this is yeah. Do you want to do, do you, that? Um, you want to open or you want to open up yeah, the other I've one? I've seen too. some grocery stores have their own brand of crescent rolls. They do. Have you ever used those? Yeah. And oh yeah. Are they comparable? Yep, yeah, absolutely. If you can find okay. them. If you can find them, I couldn't find them this time around. Okay, because um, I always am looking for ways to save money. Yeah, and that is one way. And they're really the same. I I don't really find any big difference. Uh, in taste or the way they cook. So so you just go around. So I used just a little uh, ramekin, put it in the center because you do want to leave a hole in the center. Glass. And so then, yep, glass. Um, you're not going to cook with this. This is going to come out, but this oh, is just is. to help you um, kind of put these around. So I kind of used, you know, eight. Ooh. So I do, you, there's eight crescent rolls. So you do eight on one side and eight on the other. Okay. And um, keep them cold just so that they're easier to work with when they get warm and they'll get sticky. See, they're already starting to get sticky. I even know I had them in. And um, it's interesting the way, and I'm sure that, that we've got a tight shot of the way you've overlapped. Yes, and you'll need, to, you'll need to overlap them. And so, and it, this is not, you know, rocket science. You know, it's, it's all going to bake together and it's going to be, you know, beautiful when it comes out. Um, and so we're just, and so we have, what, five more. So we're just kind of... Yeah. Overlapping the center, so that big, just so that big. We don't have top, five. Oh, five more. Yeah, yeah each five more piece. Okay. So that the wide part goes in the center, and you overlap that wide part, and we have two more. Mm-hmm. And so we're going to kind of just. Yep. People can tell that you are a professional at what you're doing because you're in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. Most people are not quite that. Okay. Knock it out. So now that you've you've done that, we'll take that glass ramekin out, and what you want to do is you don't want this big thick mount, so you kind of have to just spread it out. You want this kind of flat. You want to leave that center. You can make it a little bit smaller mm-hmm. because then we're going to put all that filling around this center. But so we're just going to do this real quick. That looks like a lot of filling for just it, that rim. It does. That rim. Um, but wait to see it. Okay, so then what I do is I use my cookie scoop, big cookie scoop. Again, this or is meat, a pamper chef. A round or a meatball. Mount meatballer. <laughs> yep. Just something. It just makes it easy, and I just take big scoops, and I go around. But you don't have to have one of these. Students. No, just you do not. Easy. This just makes it easier. I make big, you know, uh-huh. and use my hands. It does get messy. I'm not, this is not, my kitchen will be a mess by the time I'm done making this usually. That's sometimes the fun of it. You're not making a big mess here. But I'm trying not to. So you can kind of cup it and then just make. Uh, That's a lot. It really it is. is. To get in there. But you'll see, I just keep balling it up. And don't worry, it's kind of everywhere. You're going to kind of just corral it. And then I just start filling in where there's holes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Usually. Oh, it smells good. I could I can eat this. I can eat that just out of the bowl. It's so yeah. good. It's so healthy. Just, yeah. And then yep. All right. So and you then you don't have the balls anymore. You make it all kind of the yeah, same. Yeah. I just kind of yep, flatten it out a little bit. Okay. And then what you want to do, the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna just bring these your points up and over and you're gonna kind of just tuck them in. It's okay if you have filling open. That's what's that's what it's all about. That's what makes it real pretty. And so just keep okay. folding you over. Take it, tuck it under. Yep, just kind of tuck it under with your fingers. Okay. Pull that, you know, if there's a lot of a lot of the filling falling in the center, I just kind of push it back up. Mm-hmm. 
And then, yep, just you know, this would have been pretty holiday season too. It for would. Christmas, kind of look like a ring. You could you could have taken some red pepper, you know, to decorate one when it's done. You could have taken uh -huh. red pepper and just decorate it. They do have. I'll tell you, if you go to Pampered Chef or whatever, <laughs> you can go. They have other recipes for this kind of ring. Uh -huh. Yep, but they have a, a chicken you mean one. Other fillings. Other fillings. They have a chicken one. Yeah, and. You know, honestly, you, you could shut that that once come uh, home with me. I know <laughs> it's because it's gotten warm uh -huh. and um, it is very sticky. So just kind of, and then I just kind of make sure it's all put it back. You know, fill it up. And so, how long would you bake it at what temperature? And so, it bakes at three fifty for twenty five to thirty minutes. I usually check it at twenty five minutes. I'm checking the bottom to make sure that it looks like it's it's brown all the way around. So I may do another five minutes or so. So I, mm -hmm. I'm pretty good at checking. Um, I do have a thermostat in my oven, so I make sure that the temperature stays at three fifty. But um, and so, and then when it comes out. It's nice and golden brown and puffy, and it's delicious. How many people would it fit? Do you think? Um, I guess it depends on what it you're depends using it depends on what you're eating. Yeah, if you know if you're doing it for a party and it's an appetizer, you're probably going to get 10, 12 pieces because you can do slices in between. Um, a lot of times, that's what I do. That's a big it makes pace for it an is, but it's um, you know, or you can do it smaller. It does get a little harder if you want to keep you know a lot of the the. Um, Crescent roll mm -hmm. on an hors d'oeuvre. That's why I said too. I never thought about it. You could take the you could take the individual crescent roll, put a scoop on it, and make them individual, mm -hmm. and then just take the points and then put them on a cookie sheet. Yeah, so I've taken crescent of, rolls in like muffin tins mm -hmm. and put a marshmallow and cinnamon and sugar in them and fold them. You up could do it. you could do the same thing. You uh -huh. could put it in a muffin tin, lay that flat in, throw a scoop in there, mm -hmm. cover it up, bake it. Probably I would maybe only bake it 18 to 20 minutes and check it, mm -hmm. but you, then you could have individual ones already done. And I bet you if you go online on a search engine and put crescent rolls, fun things to do, uh, they would give you lots, lots of, of ideas. And I generally find that the ones that they promote are some of the best there are because they want you to buy more of their product. Absolutely. Yep. So well, we've got, what, a minute or so? Let's talk briefly tell us some other options of things you would do with this ring um well again like you could chicken. do chicken um and you could probably celery onions, onions chicken maybe mushrooms. Some mushrooms um you kind of have to be careful with mushrooms because they can be you know i don't know how watery they might be mm -hmm. um i've not tried that i do like mushrooms um you know, you what could, what um, sauce would you do to bring that together? Mm, you you could, could probably, well, like I was going to say, you could do a chicken bacon ranch or like chicken mm -hmm. bacon broccoli ranch, a little ranch yeah, dressing. Yum. That would be delicious. Uh huh. You probably you could make up some liquid to kind of pull it together. You could probably make a cheese, Put Super cheese Bowl. You could do a Super Bowl and do buffalo chicken wing kind of oh, with yeah. some hot sauce, some, you know, maybe a little cream cheese to kind of. Bind it together mm -hmm. and some vegetables. Yeah, I that would think be delicious. Eggs would be something. It would. They'd be a little bit runny. Oh yeah, I wouldn't do. I wouldn't necessarily. There are recipes out there, but I've not um, can use made the binding. Yeah. Okay. So, well, let's take great. And you are not going to believe how gorgeous this is. I mean, it is so beautiful. I mean, it's pretty now. But wait until you see it baked. We'll be right back. Your cabinets draw the most attention in your kitchen. They have to last through the hard use of a happy home. Family dinners, game nights, late night snacks, and parties. So when it's time to upgrade or to renovate that kitchen of yours, maybe even to build that dream kitchen in your new home, do you really want to settle for cabinets that could be subpar, do you? Where can you find quality cabinets along with customer service that you can depend on? The solution is simple. You buy your cabinets from a locally owned family business, Magasin Cabinets. Magasin Cabinets sells cabinets that combine solid traditional quality construction with the hand-finished look that is simply stunning when on display. Customer service uh, was great. I had a warm feeling about the whole situation. So, you know, at the end of the day, I felt like, I felt great about coming here and giving him my business. The owners, Dennis and Lorna, pride themselves on their work and ensuring your satisfaction. When it's time to upgrade, choose Magasin. They have a quality you can trust from locals you can depend on. There's never been a better time to sell or trade your used car or truck. Davenport Auto Park is ready to buy your pre-loved vehicle. The market is hot for used cars and we're paying top dollar. Drive into Davenport today and turn your car into cash. You'll get a cash offer on the spot. We'll even pay off your loan and give you a ride home. Or we'll help you pick out a new ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. 
for the ride of your life and the life of your ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. I'm guessing that it's even prettier than you thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> it really looks great. And so you said right out of the oven. Yes. It's the best time it's to the eat it. Best time, yes. Okay, well, it's not right out of the oven no, because it's not. you brought it here to the TV station, but let's eat. Okay. okay. So again, so here we, we just, and you, I just use just a little spatula. Mm -hmm. And then there you are. Size. And I want to get a really good look <laughs> at the side of this if we mm -hmm. can show because it really everything in there cooked. Mm -hmm. So it's not like like the same uncookedness of the broccoli and everything, but it looks like everything right. in it just blended it together. It does. And you um, do know she gave me a much bigger piece oh, than you gave me. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> but it's delicious. Mm. Mm. And it is. When it comes out of the oven, the crust is crunchy. Mm. It's of course been I just love the Dijon mustard, and I love that lemon. I probably could use more lemon. Boy, this is great. And, um, you know, for people that don't want, you know, you don't have to eat the crust. Of course, you could just eat the filling out of it if you're watching your your carbs. Well, save up um, for it. Well, I know. I mean, that's just it for a special. Up for it. Yeah. Um, but this to me, it's just really, delicious. Really good. Um, if people are interested, if there's still any tables available, mm. and do they have to be bought by tables, or can you get individual tickets to the February 3rd Go Red? Well, we may February have a 23rd. Excuse if me. you're interested, um, you can go to info, uh, send us an email to info.wpng at gmail.com, mm -hmm. and we'll we'll hook you up, And when, um, but we don't, don't have very many left, mm -hmm. um, so we're really, I think we have a couple more people that are interested in tables, so we may not have any actual individual tickets left, but... Uh, info.wpng at gmail.com or check us out on Facebook, WPNG. And it's a right amount. And you get really a lot of money to yes, we do. help with costs. Um, we've probably raised over $40,000. 40, wow. In, in fact, so. it's one of the many nice things is they put it all, they raise it locally and they put it all, all right back in our community. Yep. They, they donate all their time, all their talent, everything <laughs> to make this possible. So it's a Cuisine with Jean um, on the website. Go and look for it. Very quickly, you want to just say crescent rolls? Uh, broccoli, ham, onion, Dijon mustard, Swiss cheese, lemon juice, crescent, two packs of crescent rolls. Mix it all. Chop it all up. Mix it all together. And bake for how long? At what? 25 to 30 minutes at 350. At 350. Thank you. Thank this you, was, Jean. It was been great. Back. Oh, man, I'd love to. <laughs> Lots of fun. And we just thank you so much for joining us. And, and we are on every Monday and Thursday, Monday at 6.30 p.m. and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Um, you can go on YouTube and rewatch these, um, see some of your favorite people, and get to know some people if you have not had the privilege of, of getting to know Therese before. Now you do. So thank, thank you, Jean. I appreciate it. Uh-huh. Have a great day. There's never been a better time to sell or trade your used car or truck. Davenport Auto Park is ready to buy your pre-loved vehicle. The market is hot for used cars, and we're paying top dollar. Drive into Davenport today and turn your car into cash. You'll get a cash offer on the spot. We'll even pay off your loan and give you a ride home. Or we'll help you pick out a new ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. For the ride of your life and the life of your ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount.